Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties, and today I want to show you how to get this shadow or outline behind your text in Cricut Design Space. In order to do this, you are going to need a smartphone app called Fonto. Okay, so this is Fonto, P-H-O-N-T-O. -O. Go get that downloaded, and once you've got it downloaded, you can go ahead and open it up. And then you will click the little camera down at the bottom. You will click plain image. And then this is a plain white square. Go ahead and tap that. You'll click this upload icon and click use. Okay, so now we have a plain white square in the middle of our screen. Tap the square, tap add text, and add your text. Okay, I've got my name in there. I'll click done. Okay, so there is my name. Now to get the shadow, we need to click style right here. We actually want to turn our text white. So text is highlighted in gray. Click the white box. Okay, so you can't really see it anymore because we turned it white. So now go to stroke and um, turn your stroke black. So click this black here and you'll see that there's now an outline around the word, but we want that to be much bigger. So go to the bottom where it says width and slide that up and do it just however much you want your shadow to be. I think I'm going to leave it right about there. Click done and then come down here and click this upload icon and save your image to your phone. Okay, now, oh, free app, so we have ads in here. We'll just wait for that to go away. Okay, that's done. Okay, now we want to get just the text, so come back to style. Um, you want to take your stroke back down, so come to stroke, come to width, and pull it back down. Okay, I am going to leave a little outline around my word just because this is a really, really skinny font. And if we do this stroke outline, um, it actually helps to thicken, up the, to thicken up the font so that the Cricut has an easier time of cutting it. Okay, so I'm going to leave that stroke there. I'm going to come to text. I'm going to turn my text black. And now I have my word just the way I want it. I'm going to click done. And I'm going to save this photo again to my phone. Okay, now I know when you were doing this, um, it probably pulled up in a very plain font for you. Um, it also probably asked you to access your um, photos and your camera. Make sure you allow all that access or you won't be able to do all of this. Um, and you can upload fonts from Defont right into um, Fonto. I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to click out of Fonto. I'm going to come to my web browser. I'm going to go to defont.com, D-A-F-O-N-T.com, and I don't know, I'm just going to do this mango slice just to show you guys, you know, how it works. So I'm going to select mango slice, and then I'm going to come over here, let me make this bigger where you can see it a little better. I'm going to come over here to download. Now if you already have Fonto on your phone, it's going to say open in Fonto, which is exactly what we want to do. Not now Fonto, but thanks. And then install the font. Go ahead and install. Okay, it says installed. It's in Fonto now. So here I am back in Fonto. I'm going to click that. I'm going to go to font. And down here you see, here's all of your system fonts if you click this little fonts on the left. And you can see there's actually a ton. I mean, Fonto has a ton of fonts. Um, but if you come to my fonts, you can see everything that I have uploaded and there is the mango slice. And it has done that in mango slice. Okay, now I'm gonna switch back to the Cricut, or I'm sorry, back to the Cricut design space and show you guys how to finish this up. Okay, so once you have your photos pulled over from your phone, however you do that, whether you use um, iCloud photo sharing or whether you just email them, however you get the photos onto your computer, you need to go ahead and get those two photos you saved on your computer. And then 
Let me make this a little smaller, move it over. Okay, so to get them into your project, come over to your left toolbar, click Upload. Click Upload Images. Go and browse for your image. Okay, I'm going to do the, the thick shadow one first, so open. And this is just a simple file, so we'll click Simple. It's a little bit bigger, so it takes just a minute to upload and all that good stuff. Click Continue. Okay, give it just a minute, and you will need to scroll down because it's a bigger, bigger file. Okay, so we want to get rid of all of this white background behind it, so click the white background. It will go away. Okay, it didn't quite get in here, so I'm going to click that as well. Okay, and that's all we want to do. Do not click in here. Don't click on your actual word because we want this to be a full shadow. So once we've got all of the background out, click continue. And when it's done uploading, we're going to save it as a cut image. Okay, and save. Now we want to go in and get the word, so upload image, browse. Here's just the font, open, again with the simple image. Continue, wait for it to come in, scroll down a little, okay, now we're going to get rid of all the white around it, so we'll click in the white, and let's get in the middle of these letters here, oops, you guys don't need to see all my emails, get the R, get that little part of the S, okay, and continue. And again, we're going to save this as a cut image. I'm not sure I got the S out of that. We'll see when it pulls up bigger. Okay, select both of those. Insert them into your project. Okay, here you go. Uh, let's turn this one um, red, and let's turn this one blue. Okay, align them, move this to the back. There you go. That's it. All done. Really, really easy. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and I will see you next time. Thanks.